criticism of Israel is not anti-Semitic. We direct our criticisms to the government of Israel and its policies, not against the Jewish people. Just as when we criticize Prime Minister Harper and his policies, we don't, we're not against the Canadian people. I understand anti-Semitism. I've lived it uh, in my, throughout my life. It's the hatred against Jewish people. I experienced anti-Semitism myself uh, as an infant. I was born in Budapest, Hungary, two months before the Germans occupied Hungary. My grandparents were killed in Auschwitz. Uh, I myself lived in the ghetto of Budapest with my mother, barely surviving. I know what it is. Criticizing a government for what it does to another people is not anti-Semitism. And if that government happens to be Jewish, it still doesn't make it anti-Semitism. Criticism of Israel when it is based in the standards of human rights which were conceived after World War II and are in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. If criticism of Israel is grounded in those concerns, then this care is uh, universally applied and it also applies to Israel. We're talking about Israel, a state that's a powerful state today, that has policies that are unjust. And so daring to critique Israel as a model of statehood as it could be has nothing to do with anti-Semitism in, in its form. So I think this is what we should tell the churches, okay? You have the right to positively critique any state that is doing wrong. It is sometimes the case, and I think all of Christendom has to look at the place of anti-Semitism, the role that anti-Semitism plays in all of its dealings with Jewish people. Anti-Semitism has not gone away, like racism doesn't go away, or sexism doesn't go away. It is at play, and Jewish people can feel at times uh, and are triggered by the feelings that criticism feels like anti-Semitism. So that's why it's very important to establish what is anti-Semitism and for Christians to do their homework in that field. However, when you have literally tens of thousands of Jewish people around the world and in Canada and in the United States criticizing Israel, you can hardly call Jewish, tens of thousands of Jewish people, hundreds of thousands of Jewish people, anti-Semitic. You have so many Jewish people who are outraged at Israeli policy and cannot live with what's happening because it's done in their name as a Jewish state. Israel singles itself out in the world community because of its policies against the Palestinians, they oppress an ethnic racial population. Millions of people across the world are opposed to Israelis' policies against the Palestinians. Millions of Jews are opposed, and within Israel itself, there are divisions. As a matter of fact, you will not find harsher criticisms of Israeli policy um, than you find in Israel itself on the part of a very brave minority. Coming out of the Holocaust, Jews have said, never again. By that we mean never again, not only to the Jewish people, but the, hum the whole humankind. And as Jewish people, we say, especially, never again for the Palestinians. Mm -hmm.